Sarah Boyd from Seattle comes to us with a, a recipe that I used to enjoy about 30 years ago when I was back in the Midwest, apple and sausage stuffing. And it really was a very popular stuffing back there, but it, it, it does, I've, I don't think I've ever seen it out here on the West Coast. This one was sort of an evolution. You know, we'd have Thanksgiving with the whole family and everyone would be there and everyone would bring something different to it. And right. so this is sort of what I've taken away as my final version. Um, and there's so many good fall things in it, you know, celery, onions, wild mushrooms. Mm. I don't know about you, but I could have sausage in anything. Just Breakfast, anything. lunch, yep. or dinner just yep. makes exactly. it a little better. Yes. But apple and sausage stuffing, really good. If you've never tried it, get the book. Okay, okay so where do we okay. start? Let's cook So here. we have half an onion and about mm -hmm. two stalks of celery that we've been softening in the pan for about five minutes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna Once add a cup. again, we need that aroma vision thing here. Yeah. Mm. We're gonna add a cup of wild mushrooms. Um, I have cremini and shiitake here today, but I also love chanterelle, oyster, button Whatever. mushrooms. Whatever's available Whatever, at whatever the time. you like. Let's give it a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. Just to sort of again, extract some of the juices. Of salt. Kosher salt. Kosher salt. Okay. Love it. Yeah. Extract some of our mm. juices and get the sizzling. Let me turn it up a little bit. Maybe we'll turn that up a little bit. Get our mushrooms going. Um, and then we're gonna add our sausage meat. And I'm someone who thinks it's fun to squish the sausage out of the tubes. If you don't, you can also just buy it in <laughs> bulk and, and keep your hands clean, but uh, it's, it's fun for me to do it this way. Okay. So normally we would cook this until the mushrooms start to give up their The mushrooms liquid. are gonna soften. They're gonna give up their liquid. Mm -hmm. um, everything's just gonna start coming together. We want all the flavors to kind of mm -hmm. marry together and Okay, part of our so let's dish. pretend that that has actually happened. It's and softening we're and we'll start squishing our squish sausage. Squish our sausage in here. All right. Okay. You're a squisher too? Oh, absolutely. It's fun to get your hands dirty. And the nice thing about this recipe is all the different textures. Yeah. You've got the crunch from the celery, the nice softness of the sausage and the mushrooms. Um, I like to keep the pieces of things a little bit whole. I still have all my teeth and I want to use them. Um, I think that's <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a part of our tasting experience. Having all them the later is always nice too. Yeah. That's one of the funny things about stuffing too. A lot, so many people say it's their favorite part of the menu. Oh yeah. So oh, why do we only yes. do it? Why do we only at Thanksgiving do it? And Christmas? Exactly. You know, we're gonna I make don't this know. in about 20 minutes, and I love to serve it with a roast pork tenderloin. Oh, I think this would be fabulous. Maybe some pork. chicken breast with brandy mustard cream. Who doesn't like it on a sandwich the next you know, day? I'll, I'll exactly. Serve, I'll serve uh, stuffing maybe once a month. Or make a little patty That's of it and serve it for breakfast. Wonderful, wonderful Absolutely. Pleasure. See, you're gonna want this. There we go. All right. Thanks, George. You bet. Okay. Okay, no more sausage fingers. Nope, no more sausage fingers. Now what? Okay, so I'm gonna chop the apple. If you can just keep breaking up I the will. sausage keep meat. Keep an eye on this. We wanna keep it in nice bite-sized pieces. I'm using a gala apple today, mm. but I also love Jonah Gold, Braeburns, Fuji's. Something with a little sweetness to it. <laughs> Greatest peeler in the world here. <laughs> So what other kinds of things do you have with this besides, you know, the chicken or pork? What other sorts of sides would you have? Uh, I like to do roasted carrots, maybe with sort of an herb salt, Very a little nice. olive oil in the oven, some green Ooh. beans, uh, toasted almonds. Fresh green beans would be wonderful. Fresh, that, little right? haricot vert, the, yeah. the baby fine ones, yeah. love those. Yep. Why couldn't we do some garlic with bro garlic broccoli? Oh, potatoes. Nice. You're making me hungry. Anything. <laughs> it's hard to believe Endless. that you're actually making me hungry. <laughs> All right. we'll, we'll try to cure that before the show's over. Oh, that's okay. right. Okay. That smell. The sausage gives it such an amazing aroma. So again, I'm going to keep these in, you know, sort of a small dice mm -hmm. so that we can uh, keep the texture. And we're not going to overcook them. I want to be able to bite into it and really still taste the apple. And is the apple going to go into this? The apple's going to go into this skillet? right now. Okay. Thank you. And I take it that'll stay in a shorter period of time than the onion. Just a time. minute or two. Yeah. You know, I just want it to. You don't want to mush right. it. No, I don't want to mush it. I want to taste it. Use those teeth. Nice. Thank you. And I think now we're going to season it too with just about a teaspoon of dried sage. Ooh. Give it that Thanksgiving smell. Right. That stuffing. Even if we're having it any time of the year. And that's looking great. Have Thank you ever you. tried this with pears? No, but good idea. Dried cranberries. Oh, throw yes. some oh nuts wouldn't in. that be an idea? You could really That'd play with good. this. See, she's making me hungry dried again. Cranberries. What a great so you idea. cook this just for a couple just of minutes. Just for another minute or two, our sausage is starting to cook through. The apples yep. are getting in there. All the flavors are coming together. And then we move on to the bread. 
And I'm someone who doesn't use a lot of fancy bread in this. I've gone into the freezer. I'm the only one in my house who eats the crust. Okay. So it's a great time to use your crust. Use the leftover hamburger right. bun, the hot dog bun, whatever you've got. And, and this is where the family can become involved, too. Why not have your kids rip it up? Or your husband watching football on the couch. Yep. Whoever's standing there in the kitchen with their drink in hand, stop, rip up the bread. So I've got about five cups of bread here. I did not mm -hmm. toast it. It's just been cubed. And we're going to start getting everybody in the pool. Oops. Okay. This is looking good. Yeah. I want to have the grandkids out in the kitchen with me tearing up the bread because that, that's Absolutely. the hard work. Absolutely, so, and it's a fun for them. It's a lot of fun. That's what we're all together, you and bet. that's, uh, that's sort of the fun of this dish. There's it. no reason everybody can't be involved. You bet. It's a lot of fun. So just to sort of moisten this and bring it together, I'm going to add a half a cup of sort of the unfiltered, I like the real pulpy, oh, the, the real yeah, apple juice. The real deal and apple And this is juice. just going to give it another layer of flavor as well. Really give it some more apple. Apple. Taste. That's already starting to reduce in the bottom. Yes, it yep, is. and it's going to really bring it together and make it a little Bite bit more it. cohesive, the stuffing. And then what we're going to do is add um, just about a half a cup, maybe a little more of the chicken stock. So again, just keep bringing it together. And this looks like some wonderful chicken stock that you've brought. You know, I think more and more people are we'll cooking see how chicken that's... stock. Well, it's so healthy, you know, it compared is. to a, a healthy cream or something else you can do, and it gives more flavor than water. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. let's kick it up. Okay. Yeah, we're going to finish this what? with some fresh parsley and thyme. Oh, my. Oh, beautiful. Uh-huh. Little shot of color and freshness. And then we can either put this into a buttered baking dish. I think we have that somewhere, George. Yes. Um, or you can stuff it inside your turkey. There's no reason this can't go inside um, a nylon or a cheesecloth or a bag or just right inside the turkey to bake up, and you can do it either way. That's perfectly. Okay. So we've just got a buttered baking dish here. You would. Okay. Do you want me to do this? I'm going to turn this in here and get it in the oven. Oops. You know, that looks good just the way it's coming out of the it skillet. And, and you know, after it gets in the oven and everything blends gets together. Cr wow. Well, crunchy on top. We get a crusty top, a nice soft center. All those flavors come together. You know, and it's fall in a dish. Thank you. And you get full measure, let me tell you. There you, you go. Okay, so we're going to bake this up oh. just like this? Just like that. I wouldn't even All cover right. It. And for how long would that be enough? I'd give it half an hour to 45 minutes. Okay. If you made it the day before, you might want to give it a little longer. But Oh, okay. I, I so didn't call that. So our finished up product. Oh, yeah. We have one for you to see, and this is for us to taste, George. Yes. This looks fantastic. It sure does. Mm. Does it live up to that wow. memory? Mm -hmm. Yes. For 30 years? Mm-hmm. Oh, better. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it really is yeah. better. And folks. it's got some bite to it. Mm -hmm. It's it's, it's exactly. al dente. It's really great. Like mm -hmm. textures. Very nice. Well, Thanksgiving or Never had apple and sausage stuffing, huh? Try this and you'll have it many, many, mm. many times. Sarah, this was wonderful. Thank you. Most Thanks excellent. so much for having me, George. I appreciate you it. You bet. Our pleasure. One more little bite won't hurt. <laughs>